from humble beginnings to a worldwide phenomenon. Earth Day has come a long way since its inception. So join me as we take a journey through time to uncover the incredible history of this important day. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Nicest Nick. Today, we're diving into Earth Day. And I've got a funny story I wanted to start us with. So I actually went to two separate parks to do Earth Day cleanups and just kind of go in and say, hey, look, it's Earth Day, let's celebrate. So we're going to have a video of me going to do a park cleanup. But after two state parks later, uh, we could not get enough trash, which is great. So I'm taking that as a huge win. So folks are going out, cleaning up parks. This is on Friday and Saturday. So today's video, we're going to do something a little bit different. So we're going to dive into the origins of Earth Day and why folks actually were out cleaning up parks the past couple of days and dive into a little bit more of the historical side of what came to create this day. So for those of you who don't know, Earth Day was relatively new in the grand scheme of things. So it was first celebrated on April 22nd of 1970. So its roots go back to the 60s. There were some big environmental issues going on at the time, and uh, Senator Gaylord Nelson was one of the first key figures in celebrating Earth Day. So he was pretty concerned, obviously, about the impact of pollution and wanted to raise awareness about all these things going on because uh, you know things like the EPA didn't exist at the time. So he kind of put his hand up and said, hey, look, we need to do something because pollution is getting a little out of control. Like Obviously, now things like global warming have kind of been more kind of accepted. We see the impacts of what's going on. Uh, but at the time, we were just kind of like <laughs> dumping pollution in lakes, right? So he was the first one to say, hey, maybe we should stop and think about this and go about it a different way. So eventually that led to the first celebration of Earth Day in 1970. So the first Earth Day to actually ever happen was a huge success with millions of Americans participating in events and activities across the country. And that's what helped really put environmental issues on the map. So this further led to the creation of important laws and policies during that year to really help cleaning up the earth. So things like the Clean Air Act, the Clean Water Act, the EPA was actually established as a direct result of Earth Day. It wasn't immediate, by, but by December of 1970, so the same year, it actually was created to help kind of oversee the implementation of, of environmental laws and regulations. Earth Day also helped bring attention to issues of toxic waste and led to the passage of the Resources Conservation Recovery Act in 1976, which established a framework for the management of hazardous waste from cradle to grave, right? So beforehand, you know, you might have this big hazardous waste plant and they could say, you know what, we're done using this material. We can just go dump it into the water. It might really disrupt the ecosystem, kill a bunch of fish, kill people who knew. But finally, you know, we were like, okay, this is not all right. We have to start regulating this stuff. And it all stemmed from this initial Earth Day celebration, right? So for the next 20 odd years, this is really a, you know, more of an American centric holiday. It was starting to get more momentum all around the globe. So by the 1990s, the 20th anniversary of Earth Day, there's an event went global. So we had 141 countries participate. And this led to the creation of the Earth Day Network, which still continues to promote environmental awareness and action around the world to this day. All right, so it was all stemmed from this little idea of, hey, you know, we should really start regulating or at least have some sort of rules around pollution because it's getting a little out of control. And that spawned into this now global movement that we celebrate every 422. So Earth Day has inspired numerous other environmental initiatives, such as the Great American Cleanup, which is one of the largest community improvement programs in the United States, and a whole bunch of other micro things that you've probably seen within your own community, where folks go do park cleanups or lake cleanups or any sort of just, hey, let's get together on this day to go be outside just to celebrate you know, what we've done you know, in cleaning up the environment. So as time has gone on, Earth Day continues to be a catalyst for positive change. And in the recent years, the focus has shifted a bit to issues such as climate change, renewable energy, and the overall protection of endangered species. So in the very, very beginning, it was more pollution centric, but as time evolved and specific issues emerged, it's now more of an all encompassing event to just make the world a better place. Now that you know a little bit more of the history of Earth Day, I hope you took some time to go out and celebrate. Even if you didn't, you're like, Nick, I was super busy. It was raining. Who knows? I'm going to list some resources below in the comments like I always do about how you can get involved in some interesting nature cleanup projects that are still going on even after Earth Day, right? You don't ever have to wait for a day to go do a park cleanup or do something nice, right? That's the goal of this channel is to show you there's always opportunities to brighten somebody's day and go out there and do something awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this footage of me exploring these beautiful state parks that were cleaned up by people like you doing amazing things while you learned a little bit more about Earth Day. 
And don't forget to like and subscribe so we can keep doing part cleanups and supporting all these wonderful nonprofits that we highlight on the channel. So make sure to hit that bell so I can see you next time.